Custom Module Builder User Guide. Welcome. This user guide video will demonstrate how to build custom learning modules for your organization. To be able to create your own modules, you will need to be an account administrator. First, sign into your administrator account. Then, under Module Management, click Create New Module. Enter the title of the module you would like to create. Select whether you wish to create a regular staff learning module or a side-by-side -side module. Select whether you will be adding a quiz at the end of the module. Enter a reference number for your module. Enter the length of your module in minutes. You can change this later if you need to. Enter the language used. If you would like, you can attach a PDF that users will receive when they successfully complete the module. For example, you might want to provide a summary of the module to highlight key learning points. If your module assessment page has audio, you can attach it here. If the module homepage has audio, you can attach it here. If you have made a module trailer for your module for users to watch before they start it, you can attach it here. Please note the size requirements. This box allows you to enter some information that a user will read before starting the module, as shown here. In this next box, you can enter some expanded information about the module. On the module homepage, you will also want to add a short description. You might want to add the learning outcomes, as shown here. In this final section, you can enter some key words about the module. These keywords will help users to more easily find the module if they use the module search function. Click here to add an image for the module. Please note the size requirements. If you have chosen to include a quiz, you will now need to complete this section. Enter the title of your quiz, enter some text to explain the quiz to your users, Start entering the questions and answers to your quiz. Make sure to mark the correct answers. Once you have finished this section, you can then click Submit to save your work. Adding chapters and pages. To start adding chapters and pages, click Edit Modules and then select Edit Chapters. Each module must have six chapters. Enter the title of your first chapter. Enter how many minutes it will take to complete this chapter. Enter a chapter description here. For example, you might want to enter the chapter title and the titles to each page in this chapter, as shown here. Choose an image to represent this chapter on the module home page. Please note the size requirements. This image will appear here for your users. Click Submit before proceeding. This notification will confirm that the chapter has been successfully created. You can continue to enter the information for the remaining chapters. Once this is complete, you can start adding pages to your chapters by clicking View Edit Pages next to each chapter. Click Add a new page and then enter the page title. If you have recorded audio for your pages, you can add it to each page here. You can now choose to add a video or an image for the page. Every page must have either a video or an image. If you would like to add an interactive graphic, please contact us for more information. To upload a video, click here. Click the Choose File button and note the video size requirements. Select your video and then click the Upload button. Depending on the size of your video file, this might take a few moments to upload. To upload an image, click here. Click the Choose File button and note the image size requirements. Now select your image and click the Upload button. If you would like the page to include an interactive note, you can enter that here. If you leave this box blank, there will be no interactive note. Add the main body of text for your page here. 
click the Submit button to save your page. This notification will confirm that the page has been successfully created. To add the next page for this chapter, click the green Back button and then click to add a new page. Please note, you must make sure your pages are created in the correct order. You will not be able to rearrange the order of the pages or insert new pages. When you have finished adding pages to this chapter, click back and then move to your next chapter. After you have finished adding pages to all of your chapters under Module Management, click Edit Modules. Click Preview Module to open the test version of the module. If you make any changes to the module from this point on, be sure to click Update Module before previewing the module again. When you're ready, you can click here to make your module available to all of your users. If you want to edit the module after making it available to your users, click Edit Modules. Accessing more help. If you have any other questions about your administrator account, please visit our website. You can then browse our Frequently Asked Questions page or speak to us via our contact page.